sorry to burst your bubble, but uh, the mob board is alive. So, Minecraft does this yearly thing where they let the community choose a mob to be added into the game and every single year it starts a crusade. This has been happening nearly for half a decade and it's arguably the best thing that happened to Minecraft. Election fraud, ballot tampering, electoral manipulation, you name it. Every possible criminal offense happens in the mob board. No! I wouldn't be surprised even if war crimes are committed. But how did we get here? In 2017, back when Minecraft was in its dark ages, you know, when it was shunned from society as 12 year olds took over it and ruined it, god that was a very dark time, Jeb and the others had plans for its resurrection and tried to include the community more into the game. Thus, the most important election in all history was born. The first candidate was basically a Kraken. Huh, wonder what Kraken tastes like. The second one was something that eats everything wherever it goes. And the third one was the Blaze Pro Plus version. And the fourth one was, well, you know, it was the Phantom. It was the Batman. But the big question is, did it work? Holy hell it did, and to this day a lot of people are still salty. Sure, the phantom might be annoying, but it makes the lonely night a lot spicier. Oh. You know, makes things interesting when you have a couple of kites trying to kill you. But in 2018 they didn't have a mob ward, they rebranded it into a biome ward. Of course, out of the three candidates, the tiger won and now we have campfires and berries and oh my god, we have four keys, they are so cute. But what's the big deal with the mob board, huh? Is the mob board here to make a decision that Mojang somehow can't make? Or is it here just to divide our precious little community? Or is it a secret psyop that sent to spy on all the younger generation and their decision making abilities so that they can monitor the behaviors of humans and predict uprisings? So, as I was saying, what's really the point of this goddamn event? Well, I think it's time I reveal the truth. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter and it never did. Minecraft is such a huge game that none of this will make any difference to it. The green one, the blue one, the red one, whatever you choose, mm. however you choose it, it doesn't matter. If you want to see a difference in a game that has a rock hard structure like Minecraft, you have to completely revamp the game. You can't really add something to it and expect it to be completely different. No, that's not how this works. Think about it for a second. What did polar bears add to Minecraft? What did fish add to Minecraft? How about the Axelaras? What about the LA, the glow squid or the drug sniffer? Sure, it's exciting to do stuff with them the first time, but how important are they in the grand scheme of things? Well, let's just look at the last year's winner, shall we? I always thought that there was some kind of a limit to being ugly, but Apparently there's not. I mean, Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? The color palette is horrendous, it's one of the worst I have ever seen and what even is this? A turtle, a donkey or an ostrich, whatever it is, looks like a mutant experiment gone horribly wrong, I mean. Jeez. But it doesn't matter as long as it's useful more than once, right? Right? Well, there you go folks, these things add nothing into the game, absolutely nothing. They may be fun for a while, but they are not really functional, are they? They don't offer something that isn't already there. But what if the community voted for something else? Like the Chilliger, the Copper Golem or the Tough Golem? What if the community chose those? Will it really add something into the game, huh? Is the community's choice the problem here? I don't think so. The Chilliger will without a doubt end up being annoying just like the Phantom did. But how about the Golems? Surely there's some hope in that, right? 
No. The copper golem will bore you to death in hours. It will have the same fate as the Axolotlus did. I mean, nobody cares about the fancy salamanders now, huh? And the tough golem will be as useful as a fine arts degree. I mean, it's really nothing but a showpiece, right? And that's unfortunately the thing about the mob board. It really doesn't matter. Well, then what's the point of having a mob board in the first place? Well, the only way that Minecraft earns money is by selling more copies. And when do people buy Minecraft the most? Exactly after the Minecraft update. And what's exactly after the Minecraft update? That's right folks, the mob board is a glorified advertisement. It's just Microsoft and their filthy greedy tentacles doing that thing again. No, that's not true. I just made it up. Well, you know, it's not really intended as an advertisement anyways. I have a lot of faith in Mojang and I don't think that they'll do anything like this. And yeah, it, it's, it's clearly aimed towards the community and it really shows. And that's the reality of it. The mob board is only an event that's meant to be fun. It doesn't matter what you choose, it doesn't matter if people cheat and it certainly doesn't matter if you win or lose. The only thing that matters is having fun. And that's the gist of it. If this was a marketing scheme, every other developer would be doing something like this. If this was made to hype up an update, we would be seeing a lot more like this. And a lot of people take this too damn far. They think that somehow they could change the whole course of Minecraft with this one mob. Everything in life isn't a competition. If you still think of this game as a competition, I don't think you're playing the game right. And that's the point of this whole video. Anywho, that's all I have to say. Bingus, Mac, Jingus, out.